So, uh, next topic is present value. The present value or discounted value at I% percent per interest period of amount S due in N interest period is that value P which will yield that sum S at the same interest rate after N interest period. Hence, S equals to P1 plus I power of N. So, P equals to S1 plus I power of N or P equals to S1 plus I negative N. Okay. So, um, this one for present value. Okay. For present value, we just use the same formula with S, uh, which is S equals to P1 plus I power of N. You ju just change this one, uh, tukar tempat. So, uh, 1 plus I power of N bawa ke sebelah kiri. So, dia akan jadi uh, P equals to S1 plus I power of N or 1 plus I power of N ni bila bawa ke atas, dia akan jadi negatif N. Uh, so, this sebenarnya tak ada problem. Awak just ingat formula P1 plus I power of N pun dah cukup. Maknanya P equals to S over 1 plus I power of N. Okay, so let we discuss example 15. A loan with maturity value of RM4,200 matured in 2 years at 6% compounded monthly. Okay, so this one kita ambil dulu nilai RM4,200 which is S. Uh, future value sebab dia kata maturity value. Maturity value means S. Okay, in 2 years. So your T equals to? Uh, 2 at 6% compounded monthly. So, your K equals to 6% and M equals to 12. Okay, why we put M equals to 12? Because this one is compounded monthly. So, bila monthly, M sama dengan 12. Okay, so find the present value of the loan and the interest charge. Uh, so, uh, we need to find P. So, we use the this formula S1 plus I negative N. Okay, so your S is 4,200. 4, 1 plus I. Formula of I is K divided by M. So, since K 6% divided by M 12. So, you get uh, 0 0.005. This one for I. Uh, sorry, uh, for I. And then N N uh, formula of N is M multiplied by uh, T. So, you get uh, 3,726.18. So, this one for present value and then interest charge. Uh, so, to find interest, we use formula S minus P. So, 4,200 minus 3,726.18. So, your answer is 473.82. Okay, uh, this sebenarnya sama juga sebelum tadi. Cuma yang ni dia nak present value. Okay, so uh, same with example 16. Sama juga after 3 years 6 months. This one is T. Uh, sum of money will worth. Okay, this one is S. 16%. This one is K. Compounded quarterly. Uh, so, M ni berapa kalau quarterly? Okay, uh, then find the present value. Find P. And the loan and uh, interest charge. Find I. Okay. Uh, next. Example 17. Okay. Example 17. Sama juga. Uh, Sheila invested a certain sum of money in an account. Sebab dia kata invested some money. Uh, so, yang ni lah maknanya dia investkan P. Uh, 6%. Okay. 6% is your K. Compounded semi-annually. M equals to 2. Sebab apa semi annually M equals to 2? Sebab dua kali dalam setahun. The account will worth RM 1000. So this one S in 24 month. Uh, so yang ni T. T make sure dalam tahun. So kalau 24 month dia akan jadi 2 years. Calculate the original principle that was invested. So find uh, P here. Okay next you can uh, solve for example 18, example 19, example 20. Try to solve all this example. Okay then uh, last one is example 21. Okay example 21 a debt will be matured in 4 years. Okay this one T uh, with the amount RM 5000. This one S and compounded 14% K semi annually 
semi annually means that m equals to uh, 2 okay find the initial value okay initial value is p so you use formula p equals to uh, s1 plus i power of negative n so s equals to 5000 uh, i formula i is k over m Okay, so your K is 0 0.14 because 14% and M equals to 2. So, they get compounded semi-annually and then this one M multiplied by T. Okay, so this is your answer, the uh, present value. Okay, uh, then the value of this debt at the end of the first year. Okay, yang ni selepas setahun. Okay, so kalau sebelum ni, yang dia start ni, the initial value of this debt. Yang ni maknanya, you kena calculate T equals to, okay, 3. So, try to solve uh, this example, example 21B. Okay, next, we also have special cases. Okay, special uh, in this section, we will discuss the change of simple interest amount when the investor or the financial institution withdraw some of the money from the account, add some money in the account or changes in the nominal rate. Okay, so dia akan uh, berubah ikut tiga keadaan ni. Uh, maksudnya yang ni, uh, dia keluarkan duit, uh, dia keluarkan duit daripada account, yang ni dia tambah duit ataupun tambah investment and then this one change nominal rate maknanya K berubah K percent berubah as discussed before simple interest amount computation is always based on the original principle maknanya dia sentiasa bergantung pada original principle which is P no matter how long the principle is invested or changes incurred in interest rate but for compound interest computation is based on the principal value we which change from time to time ha. so ingat dalam compound interest P ni dia akan sentiasa change from time to time ok so kita tengok uh, untuk special case yang pertama Bila withdraw sum of money from the account, dia keluarkan duit daripada account. Okay, let we discuss this one. Okay, um, okay when we uh, withdraw, okay, okay, withdraw some money. Okay, uh, this one, RM2500 was deposit in a saving account at 10% compounded semi annually so kita kumpulkan dulu maklumat ok first K equals to 10% semi annually M equals to 2 after 2 years ok di deposit maknanya P equals to 2500 ok first kita kira dulu amount untuk uh, yang ni 2 years sebab dia simpan untuk 2 years so RM uh, First, S equals to P 1 plus I power of N. So, your P is 2,500. 1 plus, okay, this one, I, K over M. So, 10% over 2, 2 is 0 0.05. 2 times 2 ni, M, M multiply by T. So, your T equals to 2. Okay, sebab dia kata kat sini, after 2 years, okay, selepas 2 tahun, maknanya yang kes yang pertama ni dalam Tempoh 2 tahun. After 2 years, RM700 was withdrawn and the balance was invested for another 3 years. Okay, selepas so um, 2 tahun, dia keluarkan. So, second step, you need to minus 700 sebab simpanan dia dah jadi berlainan. So, uh, 3038, yang awak dapat yang first tadi, we minus by 700. So, the new principal value is 2338.77. Uh, so, kena tengok yang uh, next yang uh, apa ni, principal yang new. Okay, then uh, was invested for another 3 years. Uh, so, dia simpan untuk tempoh 3 tahun. Calculate the amount in the account at the end of the investment period. So, we need to find the value of S. Okay, which is S equals to P new. Maknanya kita kena ambil yang baru ni. Uh, 1 plus I. I still sama 0 0.05. Yang ni N. N means M multiply by T. So, M is 2 but T now is 3 sebab dia dah uh, for another 3 years. Uh, yang terkini 3 years. So, the value of S is 
uh, egg. Uh, so yang ni cara nak kira bila dia berubah. Dia maknanya ada perubahan dalam simpanan tu. Maknanya selepas uh, 2 tahun dia dah keluarkan 700. Uh, so this is the step how to solve. Maknanya kita ada what first. Kira dulu S untuk 2 tahun pertama. Second uh, jumlah uh, yang... Pertama tu kena tolak dengan 700 and then this one, uh, last one kira nilai P yang baru guna formula S P1 plus I power of uh, negative N. Sorry, power of N. Okay, yang ni pun sama. Example 23, after 3 years, uh, RM8. 1,500 was withdrawn. Nah, yang ni awak kena tolak dengan 8,500. Okay, next... Um, yang ni sama juga after 3 years, 2,500 was withdrawn. And then yang ni after 4 years, 900 was withdrawn. Uh, so yang ni nilai-nilai yang dia keluarkan. Calculate the amount in the account at the end of investment period. Okay, cuba softkan yang ni 24, 25, 23. Okay, uh, so next special cases, uh, we can add some money in the account. So, dia akan uh, merubah uh, pengiraan untuk um, compound interest. Okay, uh, this one, uh, add some money in the account. Okay. Um, okay, uh, so this one, if you have initial value P and then um, before end of investment period we add some money this one okay we add some money at investment uh, rmx for example rmx okay so um this one you can calculate the value of s and then after that we can calculate the value of uh, p Okay, so um how to solve this problem okay so let we discuss example 26 Halimah save RM7,000 uh, in a saving account which pays 6% compounded monthly. Okay, eight months later, she save another RM1,500. Find the amount in the account three years after her first saving. Okay, first bila awak uh, dapatkan, uh, bila awak baca soalan, awak cuba kumpulkan information yang diberi. Okay, first info, they give you uh, P, the value of P which is 7,000. Uh, sebab dia kata Halimah save RM7,000. Okay, next in a saving account which pays 6%. Okay, number 2, the value of K. K is 6%. And then compounded monthly. Okay, bila compounded monthly, we know that your M is equals to uh, 12. Uh, sebab dia compound setiap bulan. Okay, eight month later, she save another RM1,500. Okay, next. Okay, um, eight month later, eight month later, dia simpan pula RM1,500. Okay, find the amount in the account three years after her first saving. Okay, so dia nak amount, so it means that we need to find S. 40 equals to 3. Sebab dia kata kat sini after 3 years. Okay. So first. Okay. Uh, maknanya yang ni lah. Maknanya mula-mula initial value dia adalah 7,000. Uh, And then uh, dia masukkan at investment. Dekat tengah ni dia masukkan 1,500. So dia nak cari dekat sini. Okay. So first we need to find uh, amount of RM uh, 7,000 investment after 8 month. Uh, sebab dia kata mula-mula dalam tempoh sebelum uh, sebelum 1,500 tu dalam tempoh 8 bulan. Okay. So we use formula S equals to P 1 plus I power of N. So your P is 7,000. Kita ambil nilai P yang ni. And then 1 plus. Okay. I, formula of I is K over M. So, it means that 6% divide by 12. Okay, kat sini 6% divide by 12. So, you get 0.005. And then this one. Uh, how you get 8? Okay, 
uh, the formula of n is m multiplied by t. So it means that your m is 12. So your t is uh, 8 mass. Uh, 8 mass ni maknanya 8 per 12. Uh, sebab kita kena tukar dalam years. Uh, so awak kena ingat eh, untuk nilai t always in Yes. Okay. So it means that this one, uh, how you get egg? Egg here is m multiplied by t. So since your m is twelve and your t is egg, egg month. But this one egg month, not egg years. So egg month, you will need to divide by twelve. So um, you get here egg. Okay. So after that, uh, you just substitute and calculate. So you get R M seven thousand two hundred eighty four point nine five. RM. Okay. So, this one untuk yang tempoh 8 bulan. Okay. Selepas tempoh 8 bulan, dia dah tambah 1,500. So, nilai P new, maknanya nilai investment dia yang baru adalah, kita ambil nilai yang kita dah kira ni. So, RM uh, 7,284.95 we plus by 1,500. Okay. So, dia akan dapat RM 8,784.95. Okay. So, awak dapat nilai simpanan yang baru dekat sini. Okey, nilai yang terkini dia akan jadi 8784.95 and then another at the end of investment. So kita kira balik nilai S. Uh, so third step we need to calculate the new S so it means that your P now kita ambil yang daripada step 2. Jangan ambil yang 7000. Okey. So from uh, step 2 uh, 8,784.95 We multiply by 1 plus Okay, I I still sama K over M uh, So, dia tak berubah 6% divide by 12 And then M uh, So, how you get 28 Okay, M equals to Sorry, sorry N M T So, since your M is 12 So, your T now is Um 28 Okay So this one Dia akan jadi berapa um, Okay uh, Untuk T Tempoh dia adalah uh, 3 years Okay 3 years Tapi 8 bulan ni Kena tolak dulu 3 years uh, Kena tolak dulu 8 months uh, Sebab 8 months tu Kita dah kira So yang 8 months ni Dia lebih uh, Maknanya dia ada 2 years 4 months Okay, 2 years 4 months Maksudnya dia akan jadi 2 point Yang ni 2 years kita boleh ambil dalam tahun And then 4 months we need to change to uh, Yes, uh, sorry, uh, 2 years Okay, so after that uh, we can calculate this one Okay, so you get here is 28 So your answer is RM uh, 10,101.57 Okay, uh, so for example, okay, for example, 27, okay, Ahmad save RM 6,500, okay, this one is the value of P in a saving account which pays 9% compounded every 4 months. Okay, so 9% is your K, K equals to 9%, uh, P equals to 6,500. Okay, compounded every 4 months. Okay, compounded every 4 months maksudnya dalam setahun tu dia compound 3 kali. Okay, sebab contohnya 4, 8, 12. So, your M equals to 3 for 3 years. Okay, for 3 years. And then 2 years after her first saving, he save another RM 2000. Maknanya mula-mula dia simpan 6500. Bila T equals to 0. And then when T equals to 2, dia tambahkan RM 2000. Okay, so dia nak after 3 years. Uh, find the amount in the account at the end of the investment period. Maksudnya dia nak selepas 3 tahun. Cumanya dalam tempoh sebelum 3 tahun tu, dalam tahun kedua dia tambah RM2000. Okay, so you can follow the step in example 26. Okay, first step you need to find the value of S first. And then second step uh, you want you need to find 
P new maknanya nilai prinsipal yang baru maknanya awak kena tambah dengan saving dia kat sini RM2000 and then after that we can uh, calculate uh, new S okay so uh, use formula S equals to P 1 plus I power of N okay so this one for example 27 Okay, next example, uh, you can try solve example 28 and example 29. Okay, then last one. Okay, special case for last. Last one is uh, changes in the nominal rate. Maksudnya dia tukar nilai K. Okay, so um, this one maknanya kita ada first tu nilai P yang baru. And then dekat tengah-tengah ni dia tukar nilai Uh, apa ni nominal rate and then uh, after that we need to calculate the new value of S ok uh, so this one ok kita cuba tengok example 30 RM5000 is invested for 3 years and 6 months ok first uh, the value of P is 5000 ok for 3 years 6 month ok so T equals to 3 years 6 months 6 over 12 uh, so sebab dalam uh, yang bulan tu kita tukar pada tahun ok the investment is offered 12% compounded monthly for the first year ok bila T sama dengan 1 nilai K equals to 12% uh, compounded monthly maknanya M equals to uh, sorry M equals to 12 Compounded uh, month, uh, okay. Then uh, and eight percent compounded quarterly for the ensuing period. Maknanya t yang selepas tu uh, dia compound sebanyak eight percent compounded quarterly. So m equals to uh, four. Uh, suku kan? Okay. Uh, calculate the future value of the investment. Okay. Calculate s. Okay, so um, how to solve this one? Bila K berubah, okay, first amount on first year, okay, so kita ambil nilai amount of first year 0.12 divide by 12. Kita ambil maklumat yang ni. Okay, untuk yang first year, your K, K divide by M. Okay, this one is I. Sorry, nominal rate is I percent eh, bukan K. Sorry, I. Okay, so formula I equals to K over M. Uh, okay, so um, I equals to 0 0.12, this one, 12% divide by 12. So, you get 0 0.01. So, you calculate uh, the value of S which is P 1 plus I power of N. So, your P is 5000 multiplied by 1 plus, okay, I yang kita kira tadi yang ni. Okay, so uh, this one. N equals to M multiply by T. So, your M if is 12, then your T is 1. Sebab dia cuma setahun kan? For the first year. Ha, kat sini for the first year. So, tempo dia cuma setahun. So, it means that your T is 1. So, N is 12. Okay. Next step. Amount at the end of investment. So, maknanya kita kira nilai yang baru ni. Yang second one. Okay. Second one. Uh, your K is 8% or 0 0.08 and M equals to 4. So, your new I is 0 0.02. Okay, so 0 0.02. Okay, now your... Okay, tak nampak kat sini. Okay, then your N. N is M multiply by... Uh, sorry kat sini. Uh, your N is... Uh, mana pun saya? Okay, your... Okay, so your... Uh, N is M multiply by T. Okay, so your N is 4. Okay, uh, your M sorry, kat sini. Okay, so your N is 4 and your T is 2.5. So, sebab apa 2.5? Sebab kat sini uh, dia kata calculate the future 3 years 6 months. Okay, 3 years 6 months ni 3.5 tahun. So, kita dah guna dah setahun untuk uh, nilai uh, nominal rate yang lama so yang baru dia cuma dia akan tinggal 2.5 tahun so it means that your n is uh, 
uh, sorry 4 multiplied by 2.5 so it is equals to 10 so uh, next step you need to calculate S so your S now is uh, P, P new yang kita kira dalam step pertama tadi and then multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.02 power of 10 ok uh, so your answer is this one eh uh, 6,800 uh, 67.97 Okay, so you can try to solve example 31 Okay, buat cara yang sama dengan example 30 Okay, then um, Example Sorry, yeah, example 32 Okay, example 32 and example 33 Okay Uh, yang ni pun memang cara yang uh, sama juga dengan uh, example yang sebelum ni ok uh, so as a summary for uh, this one ok as a summary for this one ok kita ada tiga formula yang awak perlu ingat future value which is S S equals to P1 plus I power of N and then compound interest I I equals to S minus P and present value. Sebenarnya present value ni awak tak nak hafal pun tak apa. Awak just guna yang future value. Maknanya tukar je lah tempat P dengan S. Okay so now we um, dah complete untuk chapter 5 compound interest.